These are good. They really do amaze me. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video and we're talking about things that I think are pretty cool that I feel like a lot of people probably take for granted and I'm not being like, you sighties take stuff for granted all the time. I'm just being like, yo, you would probably never think of this and that's fair because you live with sight and that's who you've always been and how you've always lived and so it's natural that you probably don't even think about these things and for context for those who like randomly clicked upon this hello hi welcome i am molly and i'm very blind i'll link my playlist called everything blind below so i grew up with like sight but not full sight so a lot of these things i have 10 things i wrote down 10 things a lot of these things i could never see actually that's a lie all of these things i could never see which is why they amaze me i think it's like so interesting so without further ado in no particular order here are 10 things that I think are amazing about having sight. All the colors you have to know. Like that's a lot of color to store in your, I'm just gonna throw up, and by me, my editor Scott, is gonna throw up a bunch of random colors on the screen right now. Those are just a handful of the colors that you know. You just look at it and you're like, it's baby blue, it's periwinkle, it's navy. What are other types of blue? Uh, you get my point. <laughs> you know, like that's nuts to me. Everything has a color and you know all of them. <sighs> Kudos to you. Glow in the dark. Like that's nuts. I think glow in the dark is just such a cool concept. I could like, you know those like when you're a child of the 90s and there's like those glow in the dark star stickers that you would put on your ceiling. I remember like my brother having them and I was so pumped when he got them and then I went and I looked and I was like, just looks like a pitch black room to me. <laughs> So, I don't know, I think glow in the dark stuff is just like a really neat concept that blows my mind because I don't get what it looks like. That you can see into other people's cars and houses and just like casually spy on their lives. I guess like just people watching in general. The fact that you could sit on a park bench for five hours and just like observe human beings is so interesting and it like actually really freaks me out that other people can look into my, like when I'm driving, not not when I'm driving, because, you know, we don't want to let me on the road. But, like, when I'm sitting in a car with my friend or something, like, I forget that people can see us and that my friends can see other people. Or when I'm walking by houses and people are like, oh, look at them having dinner. And I'm like, what? You can see that? Like, that's so weird, creepy, and funny to me. I don't know. It feels very invasive, but you guys are used to it. Like, that's just like, yeah, people can see me. Sometimes I'll, like, change in front of an open like window with open curtains at nighttime and my lights are on so like people could like see me but I forget and I'm like darn I did it again <laughs> so I have to remember to like close my curtains pretty early in the day otherwise I'm giving everybody a free show that your brain does not get information overload constantly and you don't like just live with a headache walking around all the time because you're seeing so much you're seeing so much <laughs> there's a lot to take in and I just don't get how it's not overwhelming because it sounds overwhelming to me. I don't know, that's just like, it seems like a lot because as sighted people, the sense you rely on the most is sight. So I know that you guys are like heavily into what you're seeing and it just, I don't know, seems like too much to me. I'll take what I got. The fact that you cannot read with your fingers, like to me, it's second nature. I learned to read print and then shortly after, I started learning how to read braille when I was like five. So to me, like reading with my fingers is just as natural as it is for you to read with your eyes. So the fact that you just can't like reach up and read the bathroom sign or restroom sign, it's like astounding to me. You guys don't get to read with the lights off. I'm fine in a blackout. I'm like, that's cool, I got my book. And when I say that, I mean I really don't have much. I don't have any braille books actually. But some of you send me braille letters to my PO box, which is the sweetest thing ever. PO box linked below. The distance to which you can see, how far your vision spans is mind-blowing. It never ceases to amaze me when my sighted friends like mention something far off in the distance that they're looking at or like when they're standing on top of a mountain because I so casually often stand on top of mountains with my friends and they're like talking about all of what they're seeing below and I'm just like that's really far <laughs> like how do you see that or like growing up I grew up in 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 Toronto shout out 
specifically I grew up in a town called Oakville, which is like in the GTA, Greater Toronto Area. And you can stand at the lake in Oakville, Lake Ontario, and see across the lake and see the CN Tower. And that just like from the time I was little, and people would be like, look, it's a, you know, a clear day, you can see the CN Tower. I was like, what do you mean you can see a tower that's a 45 minute drive away and across a lake? Like, ugh. Flowers, they like smell and feel so pretty. So I feel like they probably look really beautiful. And it also amazes me that people can like identify flowers by looking at them when I feel like there's so many types of flowers. It's just a lot. I feel like they're, they're probably really beautiful. Comment below and let me know what you think the most like aesthetically pleasing or most beautiful thing is to look at. I'd be really interested to know. I wonder how many people will say flowers. The fact that you can gather so much information about a person by looking at them. I have to like actually make an effort to talk to a person and get to know them. You guys just like see them and are like, oh, they're Asian, they're short, they have long hair. They're wearing like an Ed Sheeran t-shirt. They like, you just know. You can look at them and like, boom! You know like a ton of base information about the person. I don't, I don't have any of that. That's, that's like so weird that you, before even exchanging a hello with somebody, you'd be like, yeah, I, I know some stuff about you. That's all I have to say. Being able to see at night. For those who don't know, my disease, retinitis pigmentosa, is Typically, classically seen as like, like the first signs are tunnel vision and night blindness. I have been night blind from the time I was born, never been able to see in dim or dark light. So just the idea of seeing at night, like it was always just one of those things, like sun goes down, Molly can't see. It was just, that's my life. So the idea that your vision isn't limited to like the span of which the sun is out is pretty cool to me. Wow, you get to see for 24 hours of the day, not just the window of time that you have. Oh, winter was a sad time of season for me growing up. The detail in life. There is so much detail. The life, like the world to me during the hours of time the sun was up and I could actually see because it was bright enough, I never saw detail. Like the world was, you know, it was just like a little fuzzy. It was blurry and soft. The edges were softened, you know? It was not crisp. <laughs> nothing was clear. Nothing was with distance. Nothing was with depth or detail. None of that. In fact, I've never had depth perception. Make this 11. Depth perception amazes me. The fact that the world is not 2D. Because to me, the world was always just flat. There was no like depth. I couldn't just reach and, and get something. It was like, where is it? So that's pretty cool. You can see depth, amazing. But for me, I didn't grow up with details. So the fact that you guys can see like individual eyelashes, individual eyebrow hairs, freckles, pores on somebody's skin. A lot of people would be less attractive. <laughs> like I feel like for me growing up, everybody was just like slightly more attractive than they were. There was actually one time when I was a kid, this is horrible, mini story time. They gave me, I was at a clinic where they were help, having me like test out different accessibility tools to see if anything was gonna like help me. And one of the things I tried out was this magnifying glass and I held it up and I looked at my mom and I was like a little kid, I was like seven. I was like, oh my God, you have so many more wrinkles than I thought. But like, I could never see them because I didn't have detail. So just detail, that's, there's a lot. You see a lot. So there you go. Those are 10 things as a blind person that amaze me about the idea of having sight. I hope maybe this like opened your eyes to seeing some of, some of your world in a different way maybe taking things less for granted. I, I mean, it's not like I don't take things for granted. I'm sure there's things that I do take for granted, but these are things that I certainly don't because I don't have the ability to see them. And I think it's just like kind of amazing that you do, you know, thank your eyes. Thank, thank these little things. They do some good stuff for you. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my social media. All the links are right there. Click those videos if you want to see more of this face, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.